Hi, this is Bonnie, and today we're going to get started sewing a seam. Before we begin, let's find our tension dial and make sure it's set between 3 and 4. That's usually normal. And our reverse button, which may be on the front of your machine, or it may be on located on your hand wheel. Uh, it, each machine is a little bit different. We also want to know um, about setting our stitching and we'll want it centered and we'll want a straight stitch. Refer to your manual to find out how to set your stitches. And this is your presser foot lever which will raise and lower your presser foot um, to keep your fabric in place. And last but not least, our pedal. Now we're going to sew a seam and we're going to take these two pieces of fabric and we're going to place them together and line them up evenly. Now if you're going to sew a large seam you may want to pin them and you would uh, pin your, put your pins uh, horizontal. Okay, now we're going to put it under the presser foot on the very edge of the fabric. And we're going to line it up with one of the measurements on the machine. Uh, standard is 5 8 and that's where we're going to be sewing this seam at. We're going to stitch a couple of stitches forward, maybe three or four. And then we're going to hit our reverse button and uh, reverse maybe two or three stitches. Okay, once we've reversed a couple stitches, we go back into forward and sew the rest of our seam all the way down to the end. When you reach the end, you can either Reverse the machine again a couple of stitches to, to lock in your thread or you can just um, <clears throat> tie it off after you're done. Raise your presser foot and pull out your fabric and cut your threads. And then you're done sewing your seam. Now we need to press your seam because that's what gives your piece a professional look. So we're going to lay it with the seam facing up and then we're going to separate it and press it and steam it so it lays nice and flat. And there's our pressed seam looks really nice. We'll turn it over to the other side and you can see how nice and finished it looks. Um, pressing your fabric and pressing your seams is what gives your projects a professional look. So always be sure to do that whatever you're making. Now if you were to fold that on the seam in a project we could do some top stitching which we'll um, get into a little bit later. So you're done with your first seam and pressing it in a professional manner and ready to move on to projects. Thank you for watching and good luck.